you are watching 8-bit days a week and we're gonna play wild arms on the playstation classic now again here's another game that um, i didn't really play back in its day because yeah i guess i just thought the only rpgs that mattered are the ones from square that time so I just mostly played the, you know, the Final Fantasies, seven, eight, nine, and yeah, I largely ignored a lot of RPGs, including uh, Xenogears. Hmm, that's also even a that was a Square title, right? Yeah. So I guess I just really wasn't into. Um, RPGs. A wandering youth, treasure hunter. Uh, I'll just go with the. Okay, but um, not to say that I haven't heard of this game. I know this got huge praise. Oh, I did play uh, a non-square RPG. Was it? Star Ocean wasn't like a square release, right? Yeah, I played that one. Also, Legend of Dragoon. Wasn't that the Sony release? Why didn't they include that here? My name is Rudy. Is that a default name? The mayor. Okay. So it looks like your retro, well, retro by today's standards, uh, JRPG. RPGs today are completely different now. Where's the exit to this thing? Come on, that can't be. <laughs> okay, we have a run here. Or maybe I have to go through this house. Okay, there you go. Are you the mayor? Nope. That uh, dash reminds me of uh, a link to the past when you get the dash boots. Dash boots, I'm sorry, wasn't it called uh, Pegasus boots or something? I can't remember. Alright. Surf Village. Are you the mayor? No. Yes, yes, honestly it is. It is boring. I've been wandering around. I'm just looking for the mayor as per suggestion. And, um, well, maybe this is... OK. 
Okay, so I guess I need to go to... Uh, a cave or something. Whoa, chicken is strong. Can you tell me where the mayor is? You know, I think I've been here. You know. Alright, I just really suck at JRPGs, I guess. I can't even do a simple find a mayor. Oh, finally. Bombs. Come on already, stop walking around. Yeah, you talk about it. I'd like to go out and feel the actual gameplay already, instead of these pointless wandering around. Oh, that must be it. Berry Cave. Do I need to do some equipping or something? No? What? I can't even get out of this menu. Oh, there. this yes let's pull it okay finally some action um, okay what they don't even tell you what these are fine I must say, the sprites in the overworld look better than this one. <laughs> but this will probably be already ground breaking at the time. Oh look, he's strong. Oh yeah, there's another RPG I actually played on the PlayStation 4, Breath of Fire 3, was it? The third one was in um, uh, on the PlayStation, the first two were in the Super Nintendo. Yeah, th those were okay. Also, I guess it's not your typical RPG like, but I did play Diablo on the PlayStation. So, yeah, that's weird. I played a lot of console games on the PC, and I played that PC game on a console. 
and along with Diablo I played Red Alert and Warcraft on the PlayStation as well. Not to say I didn't play them on the PC though, maybe I was just really addicted to those uh, games that I had to try them on the console as well. destroy the sign and that obviously means we have to destroy it um, how do you how do you sell it oh there all right oh what does this lever do Well, at least they just throw out one enemy at a time. Okay, nothing happened. Let's try that again. Uh, still nothing happened. Probably need to do something prior. I hope. These days I just can't really play much RPGs. It's kind of time consuming. Uh, I don't know how it is actually. If do you still need to grind and grind and grind? S I know some people prefer that actually, but uh, not me. I'm kind of tired of it. The grinding, I mean. Okay, can't seem to go there. Maybe here. Maybe I need to bomb it. That's just where I came from. So anyway, yeah, thoughts about this game. Um, it looks okay. I just haven't really gotten into it, so... I don't know if the story is a good payoff if for all the grinding that you need to do. But it does play like your standard. In fact, it's kind of very standard JRPG. At least so far. There's nothing... I don't think, I, I mean, I don't feel that there's anything special to it right now. Uh, if you like RPGs, that's it. You're gonna love this. But if not, oh, suddenly it moved. What the heck? Alright, other sign. Okay. Uh, others may find them, if they played this before, they might be, you know, they might be pleased to, to find this included on the PlayStation Classic, good for nostalgia.
I don't have any nostalgic connection to it, but eh, I'm willing to try it. It's not unplayable. In fact, it's very playable. Okay. Gotta level up there. That took a while. The grind must be real on this game. Or maybe it's a low level kind of game. There are a lot of RPGs that I wanted to play on the PlayStation before, mostly the Japanese imports, but I can't really read Japanese. So that's unfortunate, but I do recall that there's like a Samurai Showdown RPG and a Rurouni Kenshin RPG. sword from here. Hey, where is that holy sword thing? Oh, maybe it's not for him. Obviously that meant something, I need to use that holy sword, but I can't seem to equip it, I don't get it. But anyway, um, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, this is 8-bit uh, days a week, and um, please do hit your subscribe and like and leave some comments and thanks for watching see you in the next video